For those who don't mind a spot of damnation, the horror genre has often dipped its toes into the burning cauldron and produced some shockingly good, or evil depending on your perspective, flicks that paint a striking picture of what hell could look like. Some of these movies go for the classic fiery pits we've come to associate with the concept, and others imagine hell in a completely different light. But all of them are fascinating experiences that take you to some pretty uncomfortable places. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are the 10 best horror movies about hell. Number 10. As Above, So Below Some places in the world simply feel tailor-made for horror, and the Catacombs of Paris is easily one of them. Plenty of people have discussed the skull-infested nightmarish underground of the city as a gateway to hell, and this movie decided to run with that concept. As Above, So Below takes you on a found footage journey through the catacombs as a crew of documentary filmmakers wander around, searching for a legendary stone. However, instead of finding rich history and knowledge, they encounter cultists, demonic forces, and terrifying wrongdoings from their pasts. The film loosely reflects the Nine Circles of Hell, popularized by Dante's Inferno from The Divine Comedy. Get used to hearing about this epic poem, it's gonna come up a lot. Combining this iconic depiction of hell with a real-life place is a fascinating way to bring it to the modern world and give it a grounding in our own reality. The movie's scares are great, and while the characters are hardly Shakespearean in quality, their tragic backstories and the turmoil they face makes all of the shocking images feel cathartic and appropriate to the narrative. Number 9. The Devil's Carnival this hell is far removed from the gory and hideous depictions we're used to, as it comes in the form of a musical. But this isn't something like The Sound of Music, as you'll find yourself feeling the heat of the eternal flames all while singing some admittedly great songs. Darren Lynn Boozman and Terence Zunick are an exciting filmmaking duo, as their first project, one of my favourites, Repo the Genetic Opera, was a fascinating look at combining music with horror, and their next title, The Devil's Carnival, was more of the same. Devil's Carnival is a two-part series, with the first movie being a short 40-minute flick that showed multiple sinners making their way through the titular carnival, all while being taught moral lessons from the devil himself. Then the feature-length sequel Alleluia took it a step further by showing hell and heaven as they began to feud. The movie's charm, of course, comes from the music, which will have you tapping your feet all while feeling incredibly creeped out. Plus, the cheapness of the practical effects and goofier moments give it an incredibly inviting B-movie charm that approaches hell in a surprisingly light-hearted and fun way. Number 8. Baskin Plenty of horror movies like to try their hand at creating complex characters, worlds, and narratives that make them exceptional. However, there are also films like Baskin that go above and beyond to paint a horrifying cinematic picture that, while easily seen as style over substance, focuses on shocking imagery that will haunt you for weeks after watching. This Turkish horror film follows five police officers who are sent to check out a small town shrouded by strange rumors. However, upon arriving, they're subjected to a litany of surreal and grotesque scenarios, which leads them to conclude that they have entered hell itself. As stated previously, the main selling point of this film is the fact that it's a visual delight, if you love a good bit of gore. The bloody images are truly disgusting, as the perverted cultists and the acts they perform on the protagonists are brought to life with some incredibly strong practical effects. It's shocking how real yet twisted this movie looks. Plus, the film deserves a special mention for the breathtaking performance of, and I apologize if I butcher this name, Mehmet Saragolu as the main villain. He completely indulges in the bizarre nature of the flick and steals every scene he's in. Number 7. The House That Jack Built It's pretty likely that if you're reading a list like this, you're familiar with the works of Lars von Trier. This notorious director has created some of the most disturbing and shocking movies of all time, such as Nymphomaniac, Antichrist, Dancer in the Dark, and Melancholia. So, with a resume like that, you might be shocked to learn that this hellish flick is his most controversial. The movie follows a conversation between the titular Jack and Verge, otherwise known as Virgil, the Roman poet featured in Dante's Divine Comedy. Jack is a malicious serial killer who is obsessed with perfection, and he talks to Verge about the murders he's committed, sparing no detail. Eventually, the two make their way through hell, which feels entirely suitable for the sick-minded protagonist. There's an unwavering barbarity to this film that makes it a horrifying watch. 
you'll see some truly haunting images and it's all topped off by Von Trier's fantastic cinematography and pacing. Watching Jack murder adults and children alike feels like hell on earth, which makes the character's eventual transition into the underworld so fitting. It's a unique and challenging film, but one that you need to see if you like the darker side of cinema. Number 6. Drag Me to Hell with a title like that, you know this movie was going to make it onto this list. But while the title, look and advertisement of this flick had you thinking you'd be walking into a pure nightmare-inducing time, the quirky nature of Sam Raimi helped to chuck in some hilarious and fun moments amidst the horror. Drag Me to Hell follows a lone officer named Christine, who turns down an older woman for a loan and subsequently finds herself cursed to be damned to hell. She attempts to save her soul, all while dealing with a ton of terrifying encounters and evil forces. As this film came from the mind of the man behind the Evil Dead series, it's full of goofiness as well as horror. You get to see sights like a talking possessed goat, gross out moments, and an overall campiness that makes watching it a blast. However, the sillier aspects don't negate the horror of the flick, as Christine's inevitable descent into the fiery depths below fills you with anxiety. Plus, the constant demonic presence and horrifying imagery are likely to keep you from blaspheming whilst watching. Number 5. Event Horizon Hell and science fiction aren't two concepts you hear together very often, which helps give this cult classic space-time horror romp its unique identity. We're used to classic depictions of hell being full of flames and devils, but switching it up and placing it on a spaceship was a genius way to look at it from another angle. The film depicts the crew of a rescue vessel called the Lewis and Clark as they investigate the titular ship, which disappeared into a black hole seven years ago, only to spontaneously re-emerge. However, once they board, they discover the site of a massacre and learn that relics of a hellish dimension are running rampant on the ship. Seeing each of the characters tortured by images of their sins and mistakes is rife with creative scares and a luscious amount of practical effects. The gore is visceral and this helps to make the torture moments stand out. Sadly, the theatrical cut of the film was far less graphic and shocking than initially intended. However, there's footage of the more hellish moments out there, and the film is still an adrenaline-pumping alternative look at the land of the damned. Number 4. L'Inferno L'Inferno is by far the oldest movie on this list, as it's a silent flick that was released in 1911. In fact, it's so old that it even holds the record for being the first ever feature-length film to come from Italy. And what a movie to start with! Although you might think a film this old can't frighten you, there's still a lot of tricks in the old dog yet. The movie acts as a cinematic retelling of the classic Dante's Inferno, as might be evident from the title. It shows Dante as he's guided through the nine circles of hell by the poet Virgil and meets with many historical figures who were denied access to both heaven and hell. Although audiences have gotten far more accustomed to violence in cinema, this film still does a lot to try and shock you. There are some surprisingly frightening images, such as the devil devouring poor souls, corpses being feasted upon by harpies, people burning in lava, and plenty more. Upon its release, it was possibly the most graphic and disturbing movie ever made. Additionally, the archaic and ancient style of the film actually contributes to it, as the gritty look and creative VFX give it an uncanny and peculiar vibe. Sometimes looking back over 100 years can surprise you. Number 3. Hellraiser Of all the perverted and frightening depictions of hell in the movies, Hellraiser is quite possibly the most iconic. It's a franchise that truly adores the terrifying world it depicts, and would have easily made it to the top of this list were it not for the drastic decline in quality that the series took. Still, the original flick is a deliciously scary delight to this day. Hellraiser, based on the novel The Hellbound Heart by Clive Barker, is the film that introduced the iconic Pinhead and the Cenobites to the cinematic world. It follows the events after a man named Frank rises from the dead and his brother Larry's wife, whom he had an affair with, helps him to regain his body by killing unsuspecting men. However, soon the interdimensional hellish Cenobites arrive at the behest of Larry's daughter Kirsty. As expected, they bring with them carnage, body horror, and some of the best monster designs in horror movie history. Number 2. The Sinners of Hell when it comes to horror movies, you'll never be let down by looking towards Japan. The land of the rising sun's history with the medium is profound, and their cinematic ventures into the darker side of the world have led to some of the greatest horror experiences of all time. 
So it's hardly surprising that a Japanese movie's exploration of hell would be as entertaining as this. The Sinners of Hell, originally titled Jigoku, is a winding, twisting tale that talks of multiple characters and their sinful lives. Tied up in plots of revenge, infidelity and crime, you see as the characters encounter each other in the gates of hell, witnessing the unprecedented torture of the damned souls and facing unspeakable horrors. Despite being a movie from the 1960s, the landscape of hell in Jigoku is monstrous. The clever use of colour makes the underworld look entirely alien yet familiar at the same time, and it makes for a striking contrast from the world up above. Though spending most of its runtime in the real world, you learn about the characters and grow invested in the plots of revenge and deceit, only to be attacked by the sudden shocking transition into eternal damnation. Number 1. Jacob's Ladder If you've ever enjoyed a Silent Hill game, then you've got Jacob's Ladder to thank for that, as this movie was a significant influence on that gaming franchise. The amount of horror projects that look to this flick for inspiration is profound, and once you check it out for yourself, you'll see why that's the case. Jacob's Ladder is a meaningful and poignant horror flick that follows a Vietnam veteran named Jacob go figure, as he mourns the loss of his son and begins to experience a slew of hallucinations. You watch as he attempts to figure out what's real in the frightening hell that he finds himself in. Part of what makes this film so fantastic is how it approaches horror from a different perspective. Rather than working hard to frighten you constantly, it plays at a slower and more relaxed pace. It's an emotional experience thanks to the protagonist's journey and the slower energy, but still delivers on some thrilling scares. There is a beautiful sense of metaphor to the movie, as the experiences and trauma of Jacob are what torture him, making it a unique depiction of a personal hell. There might not be any fire and brimstone, but you'll feel the touch of damnation all the same. And that's our list. Do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other great horror movies about hell. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. You can come say hi to me on my Twitter if you like, where I'm at Jess McDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for way more horror goodness.